What is up guys? Today is September 24th. It's currently 2.50, so the market is still active. Uh, we're going to go over the trades I made today. Today was a much better day than yesterday. I ended up finishing the day up $952. That leaves my account technically since the $30,000 starting point still in the negative $923. But you know, it is what it is. Still learning. So, we're going to go over the trades today. First trade was GA or JA GX. Um, right out of the gates, first minute and a half of the market opening, I jumped in 4,000 shares. Up here, I was just hoping it was going to keep going up. We haven't seen a lot of that in the market yet, and I can't wait for it to happen because since I've started it hasn't happened so I've not been able to show you guys why I jump in early because sometimes you jump in and it just goes 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 you watch your money grow really fast but right now traders have been uh, I guess more conservative I don't know they're not jumping in and running these stocks up like they do have in the past right now is usually the hottest time in the market so jumped in couldn't you know didn't continue up started to fall back down I decided I'd hop out early try not to take any big losses I uh, did get back in again later at 942 at fifty something here because it finally did have its run up uh, I was focused on some other stocks during this consolidation period and it shot up really fast so I mean it wasn't like I could just click over and jump in on this I mean it was pow and then it consolidated and as it popped up here I was like well I'll jump in right here dollar fifty six it's like ah, maybe it'll continue up this will be the new support and it'll go up higher it didn't work out it came back down tested the support a couple times and then failed so I hopped out I did continue to watch it through this consolidation period and I figured if it come back up to this period and break through I would jump back in but it uh, never did it ended up continuing down Next trade was on GHSI. This one was a little disappointing because it finally did do what I wanted it to, but I was just wasn't around when it did. I think I quit trading. I left my computer at like 10:15, which was literally right before it broke through this resistance here. But that being said, I did lose. I only lost seventy-two dollars on this trade, so you know it's not really a, a big deal. Jumped in first trade at nine thirty-two at seventy-two forty-six. Came back down, hopped out. I was figured it was going to do the th same thing as JGX, just couldn't hold the level. I uh, did get back in on it again at nine fifty. Uh, right here because I did think you know maybe it will break through and continue it tested a couple times jumped out right here on the way back down and that was the last time I traded it but like I said it did come back up it did finally break those levels and go up a little higher I mean when you're trading stocks at like 71 cent a couple pennies actually makes you quite a bit of money that could have been two or three hundred dollars there but just missed out on it. AIM. Oh, let's see. I lost 165 on this one. Like I said, the stocks they've been they trade real heavy in the mornings and then they've been fading off every day. We haven't had any good solid strong stocks that have ran pretty much all day since I started this challenge which is kind of annoying but it's coming it's inevitable it has to <laughs> alright AIM jumped in at 936 at 242 which was just almost the high of this little run up but it went red to green red to green I know you probably heard me say this already stock opens up goes red on the day which means it falls from the open the bell rings at 930 on the dot and wherever it moves if it moves below where it opens, it goes red. If it moves above, it goes green. You can see the red candles. That means they're going down. Green means they're going up. But when we say red to green on the day, that means 
it's come back over what the opening price was. So <coughs> and that's a very good indicator that the stock could be going much higher. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I've still got a little cough. So we went red to green. I was watching it. It kept popping up and I was like, ah, finally I wanted to jump in. I got in. Uh, oh, I sold half up here. Okay, so I jumped in here with 3,000 shares. I sold 1,500 here. I was hoping to go higher and I'd sell the other half. It didn't do that. It came back down. It kind of acted like it was going to test the levels and continue higher, but it didn't. It fell down and then it flushed down really quick and I jumped out here. If you see over here, LMT means I limit order, which means I buy on the bid. Market order here means I just basically you hit a button and it's like get me into this stock and you get filled at whatever the next price that hits the table is so if it's dropping fast and you market order out sometimes you get filled way lower than you expect and that's kinda what happened here I hit the market order button somewhere up here in the 930s still didn't get filled to 926 but if you hit the bid or the ask and it's falling and it passes you you have to cancel your order and then go hit it again and still it's not a guarantee to get filled it just keep going could keep falling so I market order out quite often unless the stock is rising there's no point in marking order out as it's rising just limit order out so you get the highest you know price you can B I L Z F this was my big money maker today I hit I made eleven $1 hundred and sixty dollars on this trade and I don't think I even really put up that much capital two thousand shares at three thirty seven yeah three thirty seven so less than seven thousand dollars but this thing was moving crazy and then it's an OCT stock which means it doesn't trade on the NASDAQ so you can't market order in which is kind of aggravating for me sometimes I market order in to a stock to get in quickly because it's moving fast well this thing was popping up popping up popping up had a large spread so I was just trying to get in wanted a market order in here are canceled orders or rejected orders but if you can see right here oh, I tried to limit order in the first time at 308 so I tried to get in here and it was moving so fast it passed me up so I was like, oh, I'll market order in. Didn't work. Didn't get filled. Market order, market order. Didn't get filled. Finally, I tried to limit order again at 325. Still didn't get filled. Finally, I got filled at 337. Boom. And then I sold all of it. I wasn't even playing around. <laughs> sold all of it at 395. I just did not want to lose my profits because I wouldn't I was actually looking at a different chart when I clicked over back to this one and noticed I was up 1100 bucks I'm like I'm getting out locking in my profits <clears throat> walking away today in the green regardless so that's what I did let's see NBY uh, lost 60 bucks on this one today if you notice, my losses were much smaller today than yesterday. And my wins were bigger. <laughs> okay. NBY, 950, 79 cents. I was trading a couple smaller stocks today, which I don't like to trade under, mm, really under $2. But these were the stocks that were in play today or at least seem to have been. So I jumped in here hoping to break this level go uh, red to green. It did break a little bit and then flushed down and then it tested a few times which is why I gave it a chance and well, I flushed down here again. I jumped out here so that's why it's only $60 loss. I just figured it ain't gonna break that level. I was right. It faded on down. Didn't look at it again. Uh, ANCN, <clears throat> a 
This stock had basically no volume on the day. Here, I'll drag this over and you can see uh, this is my watch list where I keep all my stocks that I'm looking at today. Here's the volume for the day. Uh, GHSI just traded 19 million shares. Whoops. 19 million, this trade 10 million. AIM traded almost 8 million. ANCN has only traded 157,000 for the day. At the time, it had only been traded like 30,000. But the daily chart for it looks really good. It's got a nice setup. It has the potential to run massive. So I was like, eh, I'll get in early. If it runs, I'll make a killing. If not, oh well. So I got in right here at 274. And I actually held past walking away from the computer. I knew the volume was so low it wasn't going to flush down. Uh, periodically checked it from my phone. I did check, uh, and it was up to 286. I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and sell 1,500 shares out of the 2,000, which is most all of it, which I did. And then I looked again, and it was up here at 290-something. I put an order out, got filled at 292, I think. Yeah, 292. I checked again. It was sitting at $3. I was like, yeah, you know, I could have maybe jumped back in, but I decided not to which was the smart thing to do because it eventually just came all the way back down uh, right now 270 is what the uh, the last price was which is right here so it's actually lower than my original entry so that was I'm glad I stayed out of it NBEV did we go over that yet I traded seven stocks today which is quite a bit okay NBEV I uh, broke even on this, <laughs> which was annoying because it was on a nice trend line. I was really hoping to play it well. I ended up breaking the line here, but still following it, which is also annoying. So I got in 320, got out at 320, but I got in at 958. Ooh, as it came down. I like to get in a little early sometimes because sometimes it don't come all the way down to the trend line. So I got in right here, and I knew it would finally, eventually touch the trend line and work its way back up. <coughs> Ended up jumping out at 10.07. Boom, okay. 10.07 right here. Basically at the trend line because, honestly, I thought this... I thought it was going to just break the line here and just fall. So I hopped out, didn't look back, took my break even, minus commissions, so $14 total in and out trade commissions. Overall, I'm happy with the day. $952, why wouldn't you be? So hopefully tomorrow is a better day. Hopefully we have some stocks that will move, get some more volume in the market, get these penny stock traders excited about something, and uh, go from there. Hopefully I get this account back in the green and grow it over the next couple weeks and months. All right. Thanks for listening.